a cylindrical container with a base radius 9 centimeters and a height of 20 centimeters is filled with water to a height of 14 centimeters. Find the least number of solid spheres of a radius 3 centimeters that must be submerged in the water to cause the water to flow out the top of the cylinder. So here's our cylinder. We have a radius of 9 centimeters. We have a height of 20 centimeters. And it's filled with water to a height of 14 centimeters. So this is the water. So we need to break this question down into stages. Part 1. We need to find the volume of the empty space at the top of the cylinder. So we need to find the volume of this space here. The height of the empty space is going to be 20 minus 14, which is 6 centimetres. So 20 minus 14 leaves us with 6 centimetres. So the volume of the empty space is going to be pi r squared h, because remember the empty space is in the shape of a cylinder. And the radius is still 9, and the height of this empty space is 6. So we have pi times 9 squared times 6, which is 486 pi. So the volume of the empty space at the top is 486 pi. Part 2, we need to find the volume of one solid sphere. So remember, a solid sphere has a radius of 3 centimetres. So we're going to take our sphere formula which is 4 over 3 pi r cubed, and swap the r for 3, and we get 36 pi. Part 3, divide in to find the least number of spheres required to make the water flow out. So one sphere will displace 36 pi. So we'll displace a volume of 36 pi. So we got that from part 2. We need to find how many spheres are required to displace a volume of 486 pi because that's the volume of the empty space. So the number of spheres is going to be 486 pi, which is the volume of empty space, divided by 36 pi, which is the volume of one sphere, and we're left with 13.5. So obviously we have solid spheres or full spheres, so the least number of spheres required is 14. So if we have a look at this diagram down here, this is our cylinder that we're given. If we imagine that this is where the height is of the water at the beginning. When one sphere is dropped down, the water level rises and the volume of water that rises is equal to the volume of the sphere. So in order for the water to fill right the way to the top and start to come out over the side, we need to put 14 spheres inside the cylinder.